Well, several town officials in New Jersey are reporting busloads of migrants arriving at train stations and bus terminals. Officials say nearly 400 migrants have arrived at various towns in the state. Now, the migrants are said to be bound for the Big Apple, but they're getting dropped off in the Garden State and then taking trains right into New York City. So, in other words, they're trying to circumvent Mayor Adams' order. Mayor of Edison, Sam Joshi. He's not standing for that. He says buses of asylum seekers arriving in his town are going to be sent back to the U.S.-Mexico border. He's with us this morning. Mayor Joshi, nice to have you on Good Day New York. Thank you for having me. So have you had any buses try to circumvent Mayor Adams' order? Yes. We've had, in the last several days, we've had at least two buses, to our knowledge, that came into Edison. One of them was in transit, uh, went right through, was not stopped. One of them was... They stopped at the Edison train station, and they thought that it was they thought that it was a 24-hour train station, but it was not. So our Edison Police Department uh, reached out to them. Uh, you know, when when they spoke to them, the representative came off the bus. At which point there was an interaction. The individual, the representative, got on the phone, uh, must have spoken to somewhere up the the chain, and they decided to just leave all together on the bus that they came from. So wait. What was the interaction with your police personnel and the uh, whoever was running the bus charter? Our police department, uh, the officers asked, you know, who they were hired by, uh, what brought them there, and what did they, were they get any information? They said that they were uh, hired by the government, and then they proceeded to say that they were hired by the Texas governor. And then, so. Obviously, you did nothing because they left, right? Correct, they left. So now what? So we've had, look, we had a, a bus on standby, a chartered bus on standby. But here's what I do to know. To take them back to the border. Correct, because okay. this, is, this is not a local issue. I can't be any more clear that as a mayor, you know, Edison does not have the ability or means, the financial means, uh, to support migrants. And I can't be any more clear that I am the son of immigrants Edison is 45% of an immigrant community. We're very proud of it. The majority of my friends, many of the people that I work with, so many individuals are immigrants. But yet Edison residents overwhelmingly stand by uh, the position that I've taken because we don't have the means to address them. Okay. So when you're saying, you know, it's not local governments uh, or state governments, where does the where does this lie with? Who, who's in charge of this? Because a lot of people are maybe may, have been vocal about it. Some people may be shying away, but whose problem is it ultimately? It is squarely a federal national issue. It should not fall on the laps of myself as mayor or any other mayor. And do you think that this, you know, federal government, do you think that this administration has been failing you, has been failing Mayor Adams? You know, what I, what I do know is that Governor Abbott, even in his decision-making process, doesn't have... You know, he's, he's not the one that should be deciding where uh, buses should be going. So I find that interesting because yeah. you're, you're, not, you're not saying, hey, this is not a Biden problem. You're saying you're going to Governor Abnett. Why, why is it difficult for us to blame the current president? Because and it's squarely a federal issue. So the congressional members, the senators, uh, you know, everyone on the federal level needs to be addressing this issue. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you something because the White House... Mm -hmm. Uh, spokesperson yesterday said, well, they've been giving a lot of guidance to the mayors and, you know, all these cities. Uh, has she reached out to you? Have you gotten any kind of outreach from the White House about how to handle this? No, we've not. We've, you know, we, we fall under the bracket of smaller municipalities with 108,000 of a population. And uh, like I said, I can only speak to knowing that this is a federal issue and they need to be discussing this on the federal level mayor should not have to deal with this problem. So what is the governor saying, governor of Jersey? Because I know he came out. I was trying to figure out what he said in that statement. I felt like he wasn't taking any particular side. Like he wasn't saying, Mayor Josie, do not send them back to the border. Yeah. He didn't say that. No, we've, look, we're going to have ongoing conversations <laughs> right. about this. Yeah. But what I do know is that the issue is not local nor state. It's just not. It's not Governor Murphy's issue. It's not Governor Abbott's problem. It's a federal mm -hmm. issue that needs to be dealt with squarely on a federal level. Well, it's interesting because when you look at the DOJ, they're now trying to sue Texas for implementing a new law which would allow the local and state law enforcement to arrest people that they think are coming in illegally. I mean, this, this administration is trying to stop Texas from, you know, securing their own border. Yeah, well, again, I get back to 
between administration as well as congressional members and senators, they need to figure it out, mm -hmm. period. That's the bottom line. They need to figure it out so that state municipalities do not have to deal with this issue at all. Do you, do you have any beef with the mayor of New York City? Because I know back in 2022, he said he's proud to be a sanctuary state. He welcomed the migrants on, on coming in on a busload. And I mean, essentially, he said this is where we're at. And now this is the problem that we're dealing with. Do you no. think maybe he should have taken a stronger stance? Maybe you wouldn't have to be dealing with this as a mayor now? So as mayor of Edison, I only focus on Edison issues and what pertains to Edison. Like I said, I come from a background of immigrants. I come from a community of immigrants that supports my issue yeah. here in Edison. All right, listen, yeah. don't just put yourself in a little Edison hole here, <laughs> Mayor. You've been in politics since you were 27, wow. right? Quite Since I was 14. 14. Wow. Okay, yeah, who's counting? <laughs> but you, come on, what's next? Look, I'm happy to serve the Edison residents, and that's exactly what's what I'm focusing mayor? on. Mayor? Yes. She wants you to think it's big 2024. Picture. Yep, it sure you, is. Okay, you got to put nice things out in the atmosphere. Yep. Okay, what are we thinking? Look, I'm very proud of the role I'm in, and I want to continue serving as mayor. Forever? I'm very happy. I love my town. <laughs> my. I absolutely uh, love Rosanna my town, and I will be very proud listen, of my municipality. Good luck with the buses, though. You don't want on no, standby? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Nice meeting you as well. Yeah. Very, very all, nice meeting you. All the best. You. Say hello to everybody in we'll Edison do. for we'll us. Do. Mayor Talk Sam Joshi. <laughs> I think Rosanna is like, she's about thinking about bigger picture over here. Uh, Let him just be Edison. Edison. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is the town I was born and raised in. Aww, that's you know, nice. That's it's, really very, it's, a, it's a different dynamic. I was born and raised in Brooklyn. Look at me now, city girl. <laughs> 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 By the way, everybody wants to be cool and go back to Brooklyn. I'm always on the wrong side of the pond. Anyway, nice to meet you, Mayor. Nice meeting you as well. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right.